yourself from grade 8 diamond. So for today's video, we will explain sound in different media. So let's get started. Sound. Sound is a form of energy that spreads from its source in all directions. Sound moves when the particles hit each other and pass on the vibrations. That's why sound needs a medium for its propagation. Sound waves can travel through solid, liquid, and gases. Sound travels fastest in solids because the close spacing of the molecules enables the sound travels much faster to solid than any other medium. While liquid molecules, on the other hand, are not tightly packed as molecules of solids. While in gases, sound travels slowest. Molecules are loosely packed, which enables sound to be transmitted slowly. For our activity, we have here, have here a can wrapped in plastic to represent solid, a bowl filled with water and also wrapped in plastic to represent liquid, and another bowl also wrapped in plastic to represent gas and the rice represent molecules Hi, today we are going to talk about if sound is an energy of its own. Let's perform this activity to prove that sound is a form of energy. I want to talk to you. Not now, later. Materials. No, now. A container. Cell phone. I still love you. Balloon, but I prefer a plastic. Not now, later. No, now. Our procedure. First, take the container and place it on top of the table. Second, put the cell phone inside the container. Then, take the plastic or balloon and wrap it around the container. If needed, tie the balloon with a rubber band. I want to talk to you. Not now, later. No, now. I still love you. Then, place some sand on top of the plastic or balloon. Not now, later. No, now. I still love you. Then, call the phone inside the container and observe what happens when it rings. Our observation As the 
phone rang, it produced sound, it made the sound dance or move. I want to talk to you. And Not now, later. Sure. No, now. Sound is energy, as just like the phone rang, it made the sound move or dance. That's all. Thank you for watching the video. Hello everyone! So for today's video, I'm gonna show you the speed of sound in different medias and in different temperature. So what is sound? Sound is a mechanical radiant energy that is transmitted by longitudinal pressure waves in a material medium such as air and is the objective cause of hearing. So as you can see, there's a basin with water and as you let go of the 5 peso coin, it creates a sound. Do you hear it guys? Great! Now, let us hear the sound as I tap this wooden chair. Did you guys hear it too? Great! After doing these activities, I therefore conclude that sound travels fastest in solid than water and air. Why? As you can see, the factor that affects the speed of sound is the arrangement of molecules that affects the vibration of every molecule. Now, let's proceed to the speed of sound in temperature. Do temperature affects the speed of sound? Of course. How? Just so you know, the speed of sound depends on the temperature of the medium. Aside from the type of medium, temperature is also a factor that affects the speed of sound. Heat, like sound, is a form of kinetic energy. Molecules at higher temperature have more energy. Thus, they can vibrate faster. Since the molecules vibrate faster, sound waves can travel more quickly. So now, let me show you how it works. Prepare the water with a different temperature. Strike the three glasses and listen to it. Did you guys hear that? Great! So what if I observed that the sound travels faster in higher temperature than the lower temperature? Did you learn something? Oh great! Hope you learned something. This is the end of the video. Have a great day! Refugee Flores in Grade 8 Section Diamond, I have an incredible science experiment for you today. We will hear the sound, but on the other hand, we will see the impact of sound. I will show you in one moment. To start the trial, we need these materials. Pot, caldera sleeve, saran wrap, spoon or ladle, and obviously, the rice. You will start with a void bowl, then you're going to take some saran wrap, and you will detach the piece so it's large enough to cover the highest point of the bowl. Next step, this is the place where you will take some uncooked rice, and you will pour about a teaspoon of full on the highest point of the saran wrap. Now we are going to hit the caldera sleeve and we will hear the sound and we are additionally going to witness something. Observation At the point when I hit the caldera sleeve with a spoon, I occupy the particles of the pot making them vibrate. You will see that the vibration from the caldera sleeve make the anko rice move without anyone else. Conclusion I presume that sound has energy to move the rice easily. The saran wrap vibrates effectively when I hit the caldera sleeve. So that the anko rice additionally vibrate and seem to move. I will demonstrate a simple experiment to the speed of sound. This is the setup of our simple experiment today with the following materials. Basin, chopstick, marbles, and scotch tape, and diamond. The marbles represent the 
particles of medium through which sound travels. When the bass scene is the eardrum, the bass will sound hits it. I will have three trials according to the arrangement of the marbles. Marbles arranged very close to each other is a trial for testing the speed of sound through solid medium. Marbles not too close yet not too far is the liquid medium. And marbles that are far from each other is for the gas medium. A time will really be used to record how fast the last marble hits the base in as a force is acted on the first one. First trial. into the metal plate and let's see what will happen next. How does the experiment work? Sound is a disturbance that travels through a medium as a wave. In this experiment, when you hit the metal pan with the spoon, you disturb the particles of the pan causing them to vibrate. The vibration in the pan are transferred to the air surrounding the pan, creating a sound wave. When these sound waves reach the plastic wrap, it disturbs the particle of the plastic wrap, causing them to vibrate. This vibration in the plastic wrap causes the rice to move. Sound waves traveling through the air are also what allows us to hear the noise of the spoon hitting the pan. Goodbye guys! I hope you learned something new from this video. See you again next time! That balloon is an eardrum, and this abdominus is a particle of medium. <coughs> the tree balloon is represent an eardrum, and this abdominus is a particle of medium. The first row is solid medium. The second row is liquid medium and the third row is gaseous medium. One, two, three.
the first is the solid medium and the second is liquid medium as you can saw and the third winner is gaseous medium John travel facet in solid medium Good day ladies and gentlemen my name is Abby Grace Dita Godin Today we're having a science experiment on how to see sound Materials needed in the experiment cling wrap rice scissor bowl and plate what you need to do is make a good length of clean wrap and stretch it over on the top of the bowl what you're trying to do is a sort of a drum And of course, just like a drum, you have to make sure that the surface of the cling wrap is stretched nice. And tightly across on the top of the bowl. And when you're done with that, take the rice. Make a small indent with the tip of their finger and put them on the top of the cling wrap. And then when you try to talk directly to the cling wrap, you'll find out that the vibration from your voice make the rice gun surrounded by themselves. If you think that it's just my breath, making them move then what happens when I hum see conclusion the voice coming from my mouth produces noise which vibrate so it makes the air vibrate as well producing sound wave when these sound waves hit the bowl, the bowl vibrate, so it makes the rice jump about. That's all. And there you have it. That's how you perform the very simple experiment on how to see sound. Hope you enjoyed the video and learn a lesson. Thank you for watching.